Hi students, welcome back to my class. Okay, today I'm sharing the ability to absorb water based on the types of materials through investigation. Okay, just so we have a look, a simple activity on how to uh, define the ability to absorb water based on the types of materials. Okay, this is a simple activity. Okay, Zura and her friend soak a facial cotton and handkerchief and a piece of newspaper in three measuring cylinders containing under milliliter of water. So this means they have a three measuring cylinder. Every measuring cylinder fill up water by under ml. Yeah, fill up under milliliter of water. So in each of the measuring cylinder, we put the different types of materials. Okay, for example, measuring cylinder X is a facial cotton. Measuring cylinder Y with the anchor sheaf. Measuring cylinder Z is newspaper. That means you just uh, predict, you just uh, imagine, uh, you just imagine, okay, that I have a three measuring cylinders. Every measuring cylinder show the different objects okay the initial water level is 100 milliliter okay let's we see yeah after 30 seconds they take out the three objects uh, after 30 seconds they're counting one two three four five until 30 seconds and after that they take out the all the objects from the measuring cylinders Okay, so they take out ready yeah, from the measuring cylinder. After they take out ready from the measuring cylinder, so this is the observation, this is the record. What do they find is the final volume of in the each measuring cylinder. Okay, the measuring cylinder contained with facial cotton is 60 ml, newspaper 80 ml, anchor sheaf is 70 ml. So these are the final volume okay so what you can see from here okay let's be same think and answer okay so from here okay the first thing uh, before i carry out the think and answer the first thing you must know okay if the uh, initial volume all the measuring cylinders contain under milliliter but after you take out ready uh, after the 30 seconds the water level was decreases okay the facial cotton become as a 60 ml the measuring cylinders contain newspaper 80 ml and the sheaf 70 ml so from here we know that water level become decreases huh? okay now we see the questions okay this is the warm-up of a little bit okay think and answer okay as we see what is the questions are you waiting for you okay one is which object absorb the most amount of water okay let's be back to the observation okay from the observation you know ready which object is absorb most water okay, give you a few seconds to think one two three four five okay so from here you must see which of the final volume very less yeah okay the final volume very less we know that is 60 m so yeah from here we know that facial cotton is absorbed most water than newspaper and handkerchief so the facial cotton is absorbed most water okay can you give me the reason why because the facial cotton have the thinny hose okay thinny hose which allows the air or water pass through very easily thinny hose huh? very thinny hose so the water is passed through very easily so that's why it can absorb most water in the 30 seconds in the short time it can absorb most water yeah okay when you compare with the newspaper and and the ship just a very simple okay the next one okay the next question is goes to 
Okay, arrange the objects above according to their ability to absorb water in ascending order. In ascending order means from the small amount to big amount. Okay, so you back to there. Okay, let's read back to our observation, the record. Okay, from the small amount to the big amount. You don't look at the 60, 80, 70, please. Huh? Not from that big amount, small amount. You just have to see that which is, yes, the yes, amount of the absorption, the water level amount of the absorption. So from here, we know that very few is the last amount is 80, only 20 ml only absorbed by the newspaper. So the newspaper will become the first Okay, that's uh, um, because it's the very few, uh, the less water level absorbed by the newspaper. And the second is the anger shift. And the following by the first, first is the most water is the absorbed by facial cotton. Okay, so that's all. Okay, this is a way how we can define the objects okay the object the ability of the objects absorb water all the objects just now i show is the newspaper handkerchief cotton ball all are uh, facial cotton all are water absorbent but only the difference is here yeah, which object can absorb most water that's it that's only the difference okay that's all from me now okay see you all again okay bye bye students